<laughs> Hello, Darren. Good afternoon. This is Reagan. Newsweek shares your concern about drug use and the threat that it proposes to, presents to our future. Uh, our editors have made a, a major commitment to the readers of Newsweek to provide detailed reports on this crisis. And in cooperation with McDonald's, we have prepared a special report to help inform high school students, their families, and teachers. Um, beginning next week, Newsweek on the drug crisis will be distributed to the more than 3,000 high schools participating in our school education program. And it's my pleasure to present you the first issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mrs. Reagan, on behalf of the employees at McDonald's and uh, Newsweek and all the folks that eat at McDonald's, we'd like to thank you personally for having the courage to step out front and helping forge this partnership between the private sector and the citizens to solve this problem and attack so uh, viciously the great resource in our young people. So. On behalf of McDonald's Newsweek, we'd like to give you this and say thank you for showing the way. Thank you. Oh, my. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I, I, that man looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm very grateful to you. And, um, and I'm sure that there are lots of young people and parents, and lots of us, very grateful to you. I just think it shows what uh, the private sector can do if they want to. Well, we certainly all have a responsibility to solve the problem. Though. Yes, yes. And we're dealing with uh, young people and, and the next generation. And we don't do something. But we are doing something. We are indeed. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. much. Thank you. This is very loud. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been waiting for this. <laughs> Pardon me? Here's Nancy. Here, here's Nancy. <laughs> there are a lot of people who say that the cutbacks in the drug budget and the federal budget are a sign of reducing the income part of the federal government. Doesn't that concern you? No, I, I think there's a misunderstanding about that. I don't think there have been cutbacks in the drug program. Um, I think there were there were initial last year there were there was a lot of money. Uh, given the drug program to put in planes and so on. But you don't <laughs> do that every year. Planes fly longer than a year. Um, so I, I think that's a little misunderstood. However, I don't think that that has anything to do with people trying to get to young people and trying to talk them out of <coughs> going on to drugs, um, educating people, getting them aware. I, I don't think that's anything to do with it. Say that it were true, which it isn't, but I don't think it's anything to do with it. Well, um, are you saying that that's not a federal role to, to, to facilitate this? <coughs> I don't think just throwing money into something is going to solve the problem. I never have thought so. I think that AA has done a marvelous job without any federal money. Uh, I, I believe, as I've always believed, that uh, uh, Education and awareness is where your answer is going to lie. Now, that may take a long time, but that's ultimately where it's going to come down, in my opinion. So, Reagan, how's your husband feeling these days? We haven't I, seen I, him. I was waiting for somebody to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> he feels fine, um, and he's coming along fine. And as all of you said on television many times, I saw you all. Uh, it's a five to six week uh, period where you take things slowly, and he is, and he's coming along just fine. Do you have to rein him in at all? Is he a little bit too anxious to head back to the Oh, sure, office? of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I told him I'm, he really is getting a bargain because he's getting the daughter of a doctor, an ex-nurse's aide, and a <laughs> nurse. <laughs> He's, he's really saving a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about Iran? <laughs> uh, we haven't seen the president in so long. Well, no, well, I, well but that shouldn't, shouldn't surprise you. I, I don't know why that surprises you. I just have a lot of questions. 
Yeah, I'm sure you do. What's, and so does he. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he getting some of the questions. answers with all the meetings he's having? You know, we know it's not the schedule. There are a lot of meetings with his uh, advisors, Mr. Absher, Mr. Wallace, and, uh, and the others. Is he now getting some of the answers you said last month he wasn't getting? Well, you, I don't think you can get the answers until all the, all the uh, committee reports are in. And he believes that, that the best way and the most responsible way is to wait for those committees to put forth their reports and then say what he has to say. And he has, other than what he has said already, that he knew nothing about any diversion of funds, he knew nothing about any Swiss bank accounts, anything of the kind. But other than that, the most responsible way is to, is to let these reports um, Come, come forward. But, but Mrs. Reagan, the, uh, some of the congressional reports won't be out until August or September. Are you saying the President isn't going to state his version of events and answer the questions that we have for him until those come out in the fall? And where did you get that, Chris? It's not going to be out until August or September. You know something I don't know. Well, that's the, that's the date that the Senate Committee has until August, and I think the House Committee has until October. Well, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know that that's when it is. I'm sure you won't wait till that long, no. So uh, that's what I guess I'm trying to understand. So waiting what for point it. does he do it, given the fact that the committee could go on for months? What kind of, at what point does he do it? You'd have to ask him. You'd have to ask him that. Uh, you know, he's waiting for the tower report to come in. He's waiting for for uh, Absher. Um, he just wants more input, which is, I believe, the responsible way to do it. Sometimes, you know, it's harder to sit here and say nothing when you really want to say something. Does he really want to say things and answer some of the questions people have? Of course he does. Is he frustrated by the information that's coming up? Pardon me? Is he frustrated by the information that's coming up? Pardon me? Is he frustrated by it? Yeah. He's me all nature of the uh, Oh, yes, yes. He'd like it all. I oh, said that in the very beginning. Could you just... Present, but could you, I don't understand one thing. The questions we have have to do with his involvement or what he knew. Why does he have to wait for outside committees to, to report before he says what he knew or what he authorized? Because he thinks that that's a responsible way to do it, Chris. Um, obviously, if, if, uh, obviously, the questions are not going to just end with his involvement, as they have not just ended with drug involvement here, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so he thinks that that's a responsible way to do it. I think so too. Now that's sometimes very difficult. Sometimes, you know, it's harder to say nothing than to say something. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.